Hello, it's me again. Uh, on a Thursday this time, I hope you're well and that you're keeping busy as lockdown continues. We're told that the Prime Minister is going to talk to us on Sunday and he's going to say something about the next stage of measures for dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. And it may well be that he'll make some announcements about what's going to happen with schools and when and if they're going to reopen. Don't worry, once we know what has been decided, we will communicate swiftly with your families to let you know what's going to happen at Exeter School. In the meantime, thank you very much for all the work that you're doing remotely. My colleagues who I meet around the school keep telling me about the great quality of what you're doing um, and how efficiently you're dispatching the work. And my thanks, as always, to your teachers for their industry and flexibility in enabling this system to work so well. We're hearing uh, lots of news from you about valuable charitable initiatives that you're involved in. And only this week I've heard about things that are being done by Grace Batchelor, by Harmony Evans, by Dan Graves and George Hurd, and by Oscar Lovell. So uh, thank you all for what you're doing and I hope that you're making good funds for your respective charities. Tomorrow is the VE Day bank holiday. So it's the commemoration of the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War in Europe. The public elation at the release from six years of being in the grip of the trauma of war must have been tangible back in 1945. We've only been in lockdown for some seven weeks and so we can only imagine how those people would have felt with their isolation, their fear and their stresses throughout a very long six-year period. But there must certainly be some parallels to be drawn between the camaraderie, supportiveness, common sense measures and human kindness shown both in communities at that time and during the current crisis. I hope that you'll take time tomorrow to reflect on the importance of the nation's commemoration of the 75th anniversary of VE Day. I've got a, a nice piece of local news for you. Uh, I heard today that uh, Dr. Comin of the Physics and Electronics Departments and his wife are celebrating the birth of their daughter at eight o'clock this morning. So congratulations to them. And uh, I hope that you'll stay well and keep helping your families and being busily useful in your communities. There's one uh, extra astrological phenomenon to look out for tonight. I'm told that there's going to be a full flower moon. So have a look up, see if you can spot that. I'll see you soon.